Welcome to the first episode of Computers for Complete Idiots. In this episode, we'll be covering hard disk drives, also known as HDDs. So, in this demonstration, we'll, s we'll show you SATA drives. This is quite an old SATA drive. It's from 2007. It's a WD2500. It's a cheap, generic drive. And we'll also cover IDE drives. Another common type of drive you'll come across aside from SATA and IDE here is SCSI. Of course, you will not, probably not anyway, come across a SCSI drive this old. This is from like 1991. It's a Con or 800 megabyte drive. The jumpers are on the back. We'll cover jumpers too, but not covering SCSI drives, they're just too goddamn old. Honestly, I've had that piece of crap for 20 years. Anyway, so first we'll cover SATA drives. Now this one's quite old, so, but it's still exactly the same. I mean, the only difference is you will not have to set jumpers with SATA drives. You just plug it in and use it. So first what you'll want to do is make sure it's the right drive. So if you have a SATA 3 6 gigabit per second drive, you'll want to plug it into a SATA 3 6 gigabit per second port, which this hunk of crap over here doesn't really have. It's just got SATA 2 3 gigabit per second, because if you plug a high performance SSD, that is SATA 3 6 gigabit per second, and you plug it into a SATA 2 3 gigabit per second port, then it's not going to perform very good, so, since it doesn't really matter on this computer. Yeah, but one thing you'll want to do is if your computer has normal, like, case mounting screws, oh, for the love of God. If it just mounts in the case with screws, I'll cover that later. But some of them are toolless, so they'll have these. But, oh, for the love of God, will this camera just stay straight? Oh, tripod's broken. Anyway, most newer ones are toolless, so you just kind of look at this on camera. You just take it, and you usually bend it, then you pull it out, but it's such a piece of crap that it will not, alright, there we go, after yelling at a piece of crap, I finally, got it out, nah, <laughs> this is what the drive will be like when you find it, this one's got a bit of dust on it, but whatever, so what you'll do to put it in, is you'll see most of the newer ones are just, like you bend them and you stuff your drive in them, they're not, you don't need screws to put them in this, so there's these pegs, I think I broke one, but no I didn't. So you'll want to line the drive up, the first two pegs. I don't even know if you can see this or not, because I am not on the other side of the camera. Right. So once you have, oh, I'm really hating this thing right now. Once you have one side lined up, hopefully yours won't be this much of a piece of crap. And it will work. Alright, there we go, I got that side in. So then what you'll want to do is, once that's kind of in there, then the other side... Oh my god, I hate this thing. This is the worst toolless system ever. It freaking sucks. Anyway. So then, once you get the toolless thing installed, toolless piece of crap, you won't get a piece of crap, like, unless you have a Dell. Dell is very bad for toolless stuff. They should just use screws and be fine. You cannot see a thing I'm doing. Oh yeah, actually you can. Nice. What are the ends of that? So you'll want to line it up, push it into the clicks, and then you'll want to find a cable coming from your power supply, supply that looks like this. You'll have like a line here and like a little notch here. It's a SATA power cable. It might say P5, it might say P4, or maybe even P172. I don't know, but you plug it right in to this card edge here, the long one. Hopefully yours will cooperate. Mine doesn't, because it doesn't like me. Come on. There we go. And then next, you'll want your SATA cable. Now it's... It has two sides. Usually a right angle side. Yours will either have two right angles on it, or one right angle and one straight angle, like mine. So, I'm plugging the right angle in here, considering the side panel goes right here. So, I'm plug that in right there. 
And then, just give me a second, on the other side of your SATA cable, probably the uh, connector. I don't think it, no, it does not at all matter which way you plug the connectors in, by the way. So you want to take that connector, and on your motherboard, you'll want to plug it into the SATA port of desire. So, it's a SATA 3, 6 gigabit per second drive, plug it into the SATA 3 port, which should be outlined in your manual. But if you're using old stuff that it doesn't really matter, then just go for it. So I'm going to plug it into the master, which is the blue port down there. Plug it in, like so. And you're ready to roll. Or rock, whichever you do. Anyway, now for IDE drives. They're a little different. So, if you're installing two IDE drives on one channel, Demonstrate this. I'll grab an ID cable here. The drawer will cooperate. Oh, uh, okay, there we go. This is an IDE cable. Big, gray, ugly, frickin' ribbon. Yours might be round. Hopefully it is, because these are. Look, it is. This one is old, so it doesn't have the key that most of them will have, but you know. Let me grab a newer one. Here's a new one. Most of them will have this bump on top here, which is the key. Unless yours is really old like this one. It does not have said key on either side. But it works just the same anyway. Except it doesn't have the key. Some of them don't even have that little hole, the blanked key there either. So if that's not there, you've got to watch out because it might come back and bite you in the butt later. So now, what you'll want to do is take one IDE drive up. See this big, long connector? You'll want to plug... The, if you, This will be the master in this case. We're just having one on the cable, cable. Just one hard drive on this IDE channel. Then you will take the top one, which is usually black, line it up, and put it in there. Like that. Now, on your drive, there will be a little thing here that shows you all the jumper settings, which in this case is right here. So, right now it's set to slave. We don't want that. So, as I was saying, it'll have a jumper thing. It's set to slave right now, blah, blah, blah. You'll want to look at that jumper. Then look at this. This is kind of the worst drive for it because I don't even know. It's just such a piece of junk, it's hard to tell what it's even set to. For all I know, it could be set to master. It's just, I don't get this stupid diagram. But anyway, let's grab it from drive. Because this one sucks. It really does suck. Let me go. Here's one that makes sense. So anyway, I plug your cable in. Hopefully you have a case. I'm like, do it now. So, okay, here's more understandable one. See, there's the Molex, there's the thing, and there's the jumper block. So, you can see the first one here is master or single drive. And then when no jumper is there, it's drive as a slave. Then here are two jumpers on this side. These two right here. And it says master with a non-ATA compatible slave. And then this one right here, the, you know, the second pin in is uh, enable cable select, so that's cable select. So there's a black one that then, if it's set to cable select, the, the, it'll be a set to master if it's plugged in here. Or if it's plugged in the gray one, it'll be set to slave automatically. If you have this kind of cable, it'll have a black, a gray, and a blue. Set it to cable select, by all means do it. So take this jumper, pull it off and push it onto the two pins that say cable select. Just do it. It's way more convenient. And for two drives, you would have two of them on top of each other. And you would just take the gray one. Okay, they won't be spaced quite this close together. 
And you'll just plug it in like that. Uh. God. That one was hard to plug in, but anyway, yeah. You'll have one master and then a slave plugged into the gray one. And you'll make sure you set the jumper on the slave to either slave or cable select. Okay? So once you have the jumper set, you can then plug power into them, which is done by connecting MLX connector, which I don't have sitting around. Wow, I was very unprepared. Alright, move here. This is a Molex connector. It's like that. Yeah, you've seen one before. So what you'll do is you will... Oh, God. I hate this camera. Or this tripod. You stay up there. So you, here are your hard drives. Take this cable and you plug it in. To the plug on the hard drive. Like that. And make sure you do that for both of them, but I'm not going to because I am kind of mad right now. So, yeah. That is it for this video. Stay tuned for another very crappy sequel called. Oh, I don't even know. I'll think of something. I'll think of the next episode. I don't know. Got no clue right now, so yeah. And by the way, IDE CD ROM and IDE SATA drives, exactly the same thing different mounting procedures. Just mounting. Oh crap. Forgot to you know what? To mount a hard drive, you put it into the place where you would mount a hard drive, which is, should be three and a half inches wide, and have three or two holes, and you put it in there and you screw it in, unless it's toolless, which I already showed you. So yeah.